Pass the word. Hey, welcome to Pass the Word. Today we're making a very fun dish. Rick's over here already draining the pasta so we can get started with the recipe. The recipe is something that you probably tried yourself already, but it's a good recipe that we found. It's for spaghetti pie. So we already cooked the pasta so we can get started. We're going to use a cast iron pan today. You like the strainer? Yeah, I like that one. It can sit in the corner of the sink and you don't even have to sit it on the bottom, right? Yeah, how dry do you want this? See? Oh, that's good. We'll use some of the starch that Just comes off. Pour that right in the pan? Yeah, we're going to use this cast iron pan that looks like a pie dish mm. and it's a pound of spaghetti. That was easy. Yeah, well, <laughs> you got another job. What? <laughs> well, first let's tell them what we're going to put in. Johnsonville flame grilled Italian sausage. Yeah, that's a nice that meat. Good. It's going to be flavorful. We're going to use some marinara sauce. Mm. We're going to use some Italian herbs. These are the lightly dried Italian herbs. We're going to use some pesto sauce. I have classic over both this time. We're going to use some mozzarella. Some Parmesan blend to add a little zing to it and we're going to use some eggs. It's going to be pie. <laughs> and it's going to be spaghetti pie. How many of these do we want? Two? Let's use three. Okay. Cool. So Rick's going to cut them up in very thin slices really? so it fits into the nice Long thin ways spaghetti. or short ways? I would cut them this way. Like, like coins? Just like the coins, yeah. Meat coins. But make them very thin. In the meantime, watch me cut them. <laughs> I'm going to start measuring some of the other. Yeah, can you see his cutting board over here? Got it on there. Very and thin, like. Very thin. Like that. You got it. Perfect. Ah. Perfect. I'm going to measure a cup and a half of marinara sauce. Normally, I would throw a whole jar in here, but Classico has a family size here, 24 ounces. So we're going to measure it. As he go. As we go. I'm using one and a half. See that we have plenty left over for something else that we can make. Could wear safety goggles with this job. <laughs> Did it splash you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to get saws in my eye. Oh. <laughs> All right. That was easy. We're going to stir that around a little bit. You don't want that cool when you shape it together? Well, we don't want the eggs to go into really hot yeah. spaghetti or it's going to probably fry the egg. <laughs> Poached. <laughs> now the pesto sauce, we're going to save for a topping at the end. Oh. All right. Next we're adding three quarters of a cup of shredded mozzarella, which we already have that separated. We're going to add a couple tablespoons of Italian herb blend and this is parsley, oregano, and basil blended together and I've probably seen us use this before. It's lightly dried so it's a very uh, fresh like taste and smell. Put that meat in and I say it's done. Yeah, well I got a little bit more cheese here. <laughs> This is the Parmigiano blend, and it's a very nice shred. We'll just throw some of that in there. And while Rick cuts up the rest of the meat, oh, you already have it all cut up? Yeah. Okay. You want to stir it in, or should I? You can. I'll take a close up. Now. Oh, boy. Then the only other thing we're going to need is the eggs. Now it looks like it's done. Yeah. I might add the rest of that sauce, though. What do you think? Yeah, I think a little more sauce. Yeah, because this is really not completely covered in sauce the way we would like. I mean, the eggs will make it a little more thin, but I'm going to add over here we have some spots that didn't even get covered. <laughs> well, we're going to use the 24-ounce jar. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh boy, this smells good. All right. Want to crack the eggs, Rick? Okay. We can use the, the bowl to get them ready. We need three eggs. I'll give you the whisk. No shells? I could leave the shells out. Darn. <laughs> Beat them up. Well, this recipe that we're trying today, we haven't used one where you actually add pesto to the top. And so we're looking forward to that. All right, let's get them in there. Good job on the eggs. Put it in? Mm-hmm. I need safety glasses now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, can you turn the toaster oven on? Mm -hmm. Plug it in. Okay. <laughs> we need 375 for a half hour. So. Bake. 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 Whoa. Okay. Preheating. Preheating, okay. Does that pan fit in here? I think so. Should I take out the rack or put the rack on the bottom? Put it on the bottom. I think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this has been in the oven before. Is that your favorite pan? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> this was a gift from Rick. This the crochet cast iron. I tried to spread the meat out a little bit so when we cut our pie everybody will have a piece with the nice Johnsonville sausage. Yeah. That's it. That's it. How do you like it? Okay. Now we're going to put it in the oven. Yeah. We're going to bake it for 30 minutes. It's going to turn into a pie? <laughs> it's a pie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I can eat it just like that. All right, 30 minutes. All right, I'll watch the TV for a little bit. Okay, you can relax. We'll be back in I'm 30 hungry. minutes and hungry. we'll show you the results. All right, it baked for 30 minutes. Ooh, smells like pizza now. Yeah. Wow, look Careful. at that. Ooh, Careful. that's a hot pan. Oh, All right, hot. I'm going to sit it down here and add some mozzarella cheese. I have another cup reserved for the top. And we want to put this back in the oven just to get toasty. Alright. Mmm. Toasty. Toasty. Alright. Back in? Back in. Alright, here we go. Now it's, it'll be preheated. I'm just going to set it for like five more minutes. Okay, hurry up. Here it is. Look at that. Does that look delicious? Let me see. <laughs> Smell that, Rick. Mmm. We're going to let it sit. Yeah, we have to wait 15 minutes. Oh, no. Oh, boy. All right, we're just letting it cool off a little bit so we can cut it. And when we put it on our plate, we're going to top it with some pesto and some extra cheese. Can't wait. It's yeah, cooling off a little bit. I'm ready. Bit. Okay. First thing we're going to do is run the knife around the edge. What are you going to have? <laughs> if you think you're eating all this. <laughs> All right, looks 
Looks like it's gonna work. I'm sure if we left this until tomorrow, right. it'll be solid like a real pie. Right. The real trick is to see if it comes out like a pie, but if we wait Ooh, it overnight. That sounds pretty solid. Yeah. Spaghetti pie. Spaghetti pie. Would you like a piece of pie? Mm -hmm. All right, wow. it's a little slippery in there. Oh, there it comes. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little support over here. Me, me, me. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, look at it. <laughs> oh, it smells good. I got a little bit off your plate here. I'll get it. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and meat too. And are you happy you got your meat? Yeah, am with I your right spaghetti? about if, if we eat this leftover or tomorrow, this yeah. is gonna be solid, like yeah. real solid pie. Can you guys see? Can you all see? It's a pie. It actually kept its pie shape, but it's a little soft yet. If we waited another couple hours, maybe <laughs> we'll get this one. Mmm, then the leftover looks real good. Is this hot? A little bit, but you can show them how nice it looks so our advice on this is if you can Eat wait it. like no we we'll try to wait an hour wait longer yeah and it'll be more solid to, you know to pick it out and you know how spaghetti is always better left over we're not ready we have oh, to add okay. some toppings all right we have the pesto mm. pesto work mm. may i mm -hmm. okay so we're going to stir this up a little bit lots of basil garlic and this Olive oil. Supper? Yeah, this is your supper. Oh, all right. And I'm up here. Okay. I'm moving up there. Let's go. All right. Now I got another topping for you. So hang oh, on. Oh, another one. <laughs> now this is the cheese that is grated. May I? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna add a nice topping here. This is shredded. Now. You want to take a picture of it close up? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> I guess not. Take a picture of that. That looks really like a pie. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Cut it with a fork. Cut it. Do a fork full. Burn your mouth, maybe. <laughs> it's hot yet. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. I got sausage on this bite. Mm. Now as I look inside of here, we could put mushrooms or anything in there. Pepperoni, you could make a spaghetti pizza pie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. He always gets an idea related to mm. pizza. <laughs> yeah, see? So Maybe we can have pizza later tonight. Mmm. Mm. I got the sausage. Mm hmm. That's real good. That's smoky and really tasty in here. Wow. Mm -hmm. I like the recipe. I can see if you added too much sauce, then it wouldn't stay mm -hmm. solid like a pie. So, use your judgment when you make yours. But those are the ingredients. You could also bake this in the oven with foil on it for the first part. And then take the foil off and add the cheese to get bubbly. That's another option here. All right, this is going to fill me up. This one piece of almost big. <laughs> it's like a big plate of spaghetti. Well, that's what it is, right? <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. Try this. Please subscribe and pass the word to all your friends. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon, right? Yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> Bye. Mmm, <laughs> so good.